Hi friends, Jana Kellum here of the Everlasting Love Club and um, I am here today with hump day relation tip number 25, I believe it is, the law of attraction and relationships. So I have a feeling this is probably going to be um, a longer or a um, longer subject than I can really put into just one live video. So, um, so let's call this part one of question mark, <laughs> however many are needed. Um, I hope that you all can hear me okay, because I've had some, some issues with uh, sound <laughs> on, um, on some past relation tips. So anyway, I hope that you can hear me. If you can't, uh, wave me down <laughs> um, once you get here. So, um, so let's talk about the law of attraction just in general um, to begin with as we kind of kick off this series, because I think that there are some misconceptions about what it actually is. Um, the way I think of the law of attraction is that it's, it's um, part of our, um, you know, sort of uh, plan for, <laughs> there's my cat again. He likes to join us for these, doesn't he? Um, part of the, uh, our plan for coming into, um, these physical bodies are, are when our souls, you know, made this plan, um, part of the, the rules that we kind of all agreed to on some level included this, um, ability to manifest and manifest via, um, our thoughts and our thoughts, um, have energy and our thoughts, um, vibrate at certain frequencies, just like radio stations do. Um, so if we want to, um, for example, hear something that's playing on 96.5 FM, we have to, um, tune our radio station dial to 96.5 FM. And if we are tuned to a different station, if we're tuned to, I don't know, 1501 AM, guess what? <laughs> We're not going to get to listen to the music that's playing on 96.5 FM. So it's the same idea with, <laughs> sorry, my cat is just really needing to be all up in my business right now. Um, so anyway, the, the, um, the using the law of attraction to, <laughs> to manifest things, um, is, it happens all the time, whether or not you are aware that it's happening. It is happening based on your thoughts. And your thoughts um, become your beliefs, and your beliefs um, become uh, what you experience. So um, there's that saying that you've probably heard, um, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> and um, I, um, I actually think it's the opposite. I think it's that you will... Um, you'll, you'll see it when you believe it. And, um, so in terms of relationships, whether you are in the relationship, um, that you want to be in right now with the person that you want to be with, or whether you're not, um, in, in a relationship at all, whether you're single, but you would like to be in a relationship, um, the law of attraction is, um, could potentially be your your best friend, your, your biggest ally. Um, and that's when you know how to use it. Um, and I think that the easiest way to start is to just think about, just notice. So you're not trying to, um, Hey Lena. <laughs> so you're not trying to, um, to change anything or to make anything be different. You're just going to start out. And I start all of my clients out with this, this activity. Um, you're just going to be noticing, Noticing your thoughts and noticing how those thoughts make you feel. Um, and I've talked a little bit about the um, emotional guidance scale um, in past blog posts and in past relation tips. Um, so this is kind of the, the beginning stages of, of that, of figuring out how that works for you. Because everyone has a different perspective, so everyone is going to um, feel differently about different thoughts. So, um, so I would encourage you, your, your relation tip for tonight, this is a really easy one, is just to notice. When I think this, what sort of emotion do I feel? When I think this, what sort of emotion do I feel? So that you start to open up that dialogue with your inner being, which is guiding you via your emotions. So if something feels bad when you think it, bad, 
Um, I'll put that in quotes because, you know, it's, it's a lower vibration and more um, negative vibration. If something doesn't feel good to you when you think it, then um, it's, you're not heading in the right direction. You're not heading towards what you want. You're heading away from it. Um, and the law of attraction will automatically bring you things that match what you are vibrating, not necessarily what you're thinking. Um, so I would encourage you to, to sort of shift your perspective. If you had a perspective already on a law of attraction, I would encourage you to think about it like, um, uh, what the way that you feel is like your signal, your radio signal. And so the universe is going to give back to you things that, um, that line up with that are vibrating on that same frequency. And it's important for you to know what that frequency is. Cause I think, um, very often people have no idea how they're even really feeling. They just kind of go through life, you know, um, moving quickly from one thing to the next and they don't take a moment to really think, um, about what they're thinking and they don't take a moment to notice how, what they're thinking makes them feel. So, um, I hope that that makes sense. That's my, um, relation tip for you today. And, um, next week we'll take that, uh, relation tip one step further and, um, talk about, um, how you can use your, um, emotional guidance system, how you can use the, um, process of intention. Um, so we'll have, we'll have a lot that we can talk about. And if you have any questions in particular that you would like for me to answer, um, about how to use the law of attraction in your relationships, um, then throw them in the comments. I would love to hear from you and, uh, thanks for being here tonight and I will see you next week.